As you've probably heard by now, ETN has been listed on Coinbean. In this video, I'll show you how to set up a new account, go through the registration process, and get you familiar with the Coinbean website so that you can start buying, selling, and trading your ETN. So as with all of my videos, I will put all of these links in the description below. So don't worry about remembering them. After you watch the video in its entirety, just scroll down and look at the descriptions for the links. Click on the links and you're right where I'm showing you in the video. All right, depending upon the geographic region that you're watching this video from, and where you're accessing the website from, it may not be in your native language. So very easy to fix up here in the top right section. Here's your different languages that you can convert it to. I'm an English speaker. So I change it to English and there we go. I can read everything now. All right, so we're gonna click sign up. And here you can enter your email address. And for the password, you can see six to 20 letters and numbers. So I want to pick the strongest password that I possibly can. So I'm going to use a maximum of 20 letters and numbers. I believe it'll let you use symbols as well. It just doesn't say that in the blank. So for this, we're going to go to lastpass.com password generator. And again, I'll put the link below in the description but I'm gonna use the maximum number of characters that I possibly can, and I'm gonna randomly generate that a couple times. And then I can copy and paste, or I can hit copy here, and just tell them no thank you. And then I can go back to the Coinbean website and paste that in, and it tells me weak, medium, or strong, sign up. And it's gonna send me a verification link. So next step, go to your email clients. So as you can see, Coinbean sent me a email. So what I'm gonna do is click the email verification. And guys, if you don't get it for whatever reason, check your spam folder or uh, if you haven't got it in I don't know 15 to 20 minutes that should be plenty of time for the for the email to come in um, depending upon load uh, many other things but if you have to just click resend but only resend it once wait another 20 or 30 minutes um, and if you still don't get it there could be an, a problem with your uh, email client uh, that you may have to look into but we're simply going to click email verification. All right. Now it's verified. And of course, the first thing they want me to do is deposit funds. We don't necessarily have to do that right now. While we're on the screen, let's go ahead and go through this. Now there's some of this stuff that we're not going to be able to do because I can't verify my personal information. Um, even this is, even though this is a dummy account, I don't want to give you my personal information. Um, so there's some things that we can't do, but I'm going to go through as much as I can with you. Uh, one thing that you will need to do is go to the identification tab and you're going to need to put in your personal information. Like many exchanges now, uh, a lot of exchanges allow a certain amount of funds to be, uh, withdrawn without verification. Some require verification. Okay. Uh, in order to do anything. So go ahead and verify your account. Give them the information they require. Um, this is to do with legality. Um, hey, you know, ethics, um, what you feel is right and wrong, uh, that's, that's completely on you. Uh, if you want to put in, you know, your personal information or other information, we'll say, uh, that's completely up to you but this needs to be done. You can click on the My Assets tab. 
obviously this is a brand new account. I have not deposited anything, but you can see the large amount of coins that uh, this this exchange deals with. All right, tons and tons of coins here, and luckily, the uh, for the ETN crowd, we are going to be listed as well. And I know I didn't, I didn't say that in the beginning of the video, and I'll put this in the description, so it's not a big deal, but uh, technically we're supposed to be listed on the 24th, um, which would be tomorrow uh, for me in the United States. All right. If you want to, there's quick links here. Deposit or withdraw or go straight to the exchange. You can also click the, click the links here. Deposit, withdraw. That's your personal ledger. So we're going to go ahead and click deposit. And what it's asking me to do is please complete the following settings. First, email verification. That seems to be an error that I've noticed. What it's wanting me to do is set my uh, two factor authentication, either cell phone or Google auth. Uh, if you're not familiar with Google authentication, um, you can do some research on your own about it. Uh, cell phone, that's a SMS text message that it sends you with a code that you will use uh, usually whenever ever you withdraw or sign into the account. Okay. Login verify code, that will be enabled once you do uh, either Google authentication or cell phone. Okay. And then you can also set the PIN. All right. Please set mobile device, verify, verify code preference. Uh, all this will be enabled as soon as you do cell phone or Google Auth. All right. So if you go back to deposit, you can go up here to the top and you can deposit one of any of these coins. Let's just do um, easy one that everybody knows, Bitcoin. And you simply click on deposit address and it will give you the QR code here and also your Bitcoin address for this example, or you can simply, you know, you can right click it and click copy, or you can click this and it will copy it to the clipboard. All right. As with any coin, make sure that you don't send the wrong type of coin to um, the wrong address. In other words, if you've got Bitcoin cash, don't try to send it to Bitcoin, a Bitcoin wallet. All right, withdraw, same thing. It's gonna to try to force me to do that. Yep, still won't let me do it, but same premise here. Withdraw, you tell it the coin, the amount, and then it's gonna give you a fee. And then your record of your withdrawals is here. Go to ledger, and this is basically your, disk, your deposit, withdrawal, and transfer records. If you have any open orders, that's the place for it right here. Order history. Addresses. Addresses that you commonly send to, you can store those there. Uh, so it's ease of use when you want to send or receive something. All right, let's go to the exchange. All right, guys, so this is a fairly intuitive website. Uh, I like the look of it. I like the layout. Uh, it's very simple to navigate. So on here, these are your pairings, USDT, uh, USD Tether, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. So let's click Bitcoin. We can scroll down and look for a coin that we want, or we could do a search. Let's just try NEO here. We'll look at the NEO chart. All right, as you can see, you have a five minute, 15, 30, one hour, four hour, one day, one week, one month breakdown here. If we wanted to look at, uh, let's say, Ripple, we wanted to get uh, real fine granularity about uh, what trades have happened within the last five minutes. We can do so. Here, our ask price and then bid price, which is uh, sell and buy, respectively. Very simple to do. Uh, let's actually do a BTC pair. Most people are familiar with uh, BTC. 
So let's do um, Zen Gold. You can put in your BTC price and then the quality or quantity, excuse me, that you want to buy. And if you wanted to sell, same thing, price and the quantity that you wanted to sell. All right. Your open orders, closed orders, and balance will be right here. Uh, obviously, there's no trades right now due to the fact that uh, I haven't placed any. Market trades here. This is uh, what's currently going on with the coin. I mean, really, guys, not much to it. Um, you can click up here to read about the Connie coin. That's um, Coinbean's uh, own coin their own monetary platform. Uh, I'm not going to get into that in this video because the whole point is obviously to get you set up on the website. If you'd like to look into uh, additional features on the website, uh, please go ahead and do so. But uh, as I said, uh, just a brief overview, how to register, how to sign up, what you need to do in order. And I think we've accomplished that. So the rest of it's pretty intuitive. Uh, like I said, uh, main page here, you can just click up Coinbean right here on any of the pages uh, and it'll take you back to this home screen and you can see the, the overview here of all the different trading pairs and all of their different news up here as well as announcements right here. All right. Thanks again for joining. If this is the first time you've ever watched any of my videos, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It helps me out tremendously. And go ahead and click the like button while you're at it. Welcome to Coinbean. I hope this helped you buy, sell, and hopefully you'll hodl your ETN. Have a good day, night, or wherever you're at in the world, guys. Bye-bye.